Hey everybody, D here. Okay, so I wanted to make a video today. Excuse my low attitude because I'm tired today. I'm really, really tired. My kids are out of town for another whole week. Yay, drum roll, whatever. And so it's just me and my car was broke for two days. And so I've been doing everything to my apartment that I've ever wanted to do to it in the last two days. So there you go. But anyway, I want to do a tag. Um, I saw Susie, Lady Susie, hey Susie girl, um, she had done a tag from I believe Jasmine and Jasmine does like every tag under the sun so this tag kind of hit home with me so I wanted to do it. It's about five questions so here we go. First one is, last time you saw a rat near your home. I haven't seen a rat near my home or inside of my house since I lived in Compton, California. I was born and raised in Compton. And um, I remember me and my mom, it was just me and my mom. Um, I was a baby, she had me at 40. And she was using the bathroom and I was like a little fraidy cat or whatever. So she cracked the door and I would sit on the edge of like where the door, like kind of at the corner and the door would be like right here. And so I couldn't see her, but I would just be right there. Well anyway, the door by the door a rat just ran past me and I like freaked out and started screaming and I like jumped in the bathroom with my mom and all kind of stuff and I think I was about six so yeah so that was the only time I've seen a rat um, the next question is is it good for a woman to ask a man to marry her yes and no I'm not opposed to it and I'm gonna tell you why because I'm the one that proposed to my husband, who was soon to be my ex-husband, uh, 14 years ago. Um, and I felt like I was so in love, I felt like I, I wanted him to marry me, and I wanted him to know. But I cheated myself because I'm a romantic type of girl, and I never got the romance out of the marriage that I wanted. My husband is a great guy, but I never got the romance, and um, I true enough did love him, but the love was a hype love. We got married six months after I proposed, so we lasted for 13 and a half years, but five of those years weren't love, love. It was just, I'm with you, we've been together, we're going to try to make it work. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not opposed to like any of my daughters proposing to their husbands or, or boyfriends when they get older. But I want it to be a romantic thing. I want the next time I get into a relationship to where we're thinking about marriage, I, I don't care if it's 20 years, I want him to propose to me. So, um, number three, have you ever had a black eye? Unfortunately, yes I have. I was hit by a guy in my cheek area right here and it swole and blackened my whole eye when I was 19, 20. So yeah, he went to jail, but you know, black eye still. Number four, have you ever left home to do some shopping on a nice day and once you were finished, it was raining very hard? <laughs> yes. I went to Walmart. Me, um, my youngest daughter and my little sister. My little sister at the time was probably about six and my youngest daughter was probably about ten. And we went to Walmart and it was beautiful. It was like a little overcast like way way away but it was like pretty. The sky was clear and everything. We went into Walmart and Walmart, Super Walmarts are like huge and so we were in there for probably about two and a half hours because I was just buying up a lot of everything. And then all of a sudden I saw people walking in with umbrellas and headgear and all that stuff. I'm like, what's going on? So I run outside to the car with the two kids and groceries. I'm throwing the groceries in the car, throwing the groceries in the car. And on my van, um, once you hit the lock, the passenger and the driver's side opens, but none of the other doors opened. So myself and my daughter got in the car but 
for a full minute, my little sister was standing out in the rain. And we both looked at each other and we're like, where's Mesh? Where's Mesh? And she was like bamming on the window, open the door, open it. Oh, I felt so bad. But it was funny too, but I felt bad. And I just pressed everybody's hair so everybody looked like an afro. And it was it was horrible, but it was it was a good day overall. We still had that story to tell, so. And last but not least, um, oh God, I write that. Ever put your keys down somewhere and you couldn't remember where they were? I did that once. I don't remember when it was, but the only reason why I remember is because now I have a specific spot everywhere in my house, wherever I move, where my keys go. I automatically put it in there. And when I'm in my purse, there's a little clip part inside of my purse that I clip my keys to because now I'm a phobe. It freaks me out. So there's my question, Susie. Um, anybody else that wants to do the tag, I'm going to attach this to Susie's page. And uh, have a lovely day. Bye.